Hello there guys and welcome back to Blues Fans TV for another episode of the transfer show with of course the latest you know transfer news surrounding Chelsea Football Club in this January transfer window and um, if you haven't noticed we are edging closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers so if you are new here it would be massively appreciated if you could please hit the subscribe button down below also make sure you hit the notification bell button so you don't miss any of our future videos and if you you know do enjoy our content please be sure to drop a like that would be massively appreciated as well but I'm um, just getting into the video straight away in all honesty, other than our first signing, which I'm going to talk about at the end, reports that Inter Milan can only sign Olivier Giroud once they have sold the Italian winger Matteo Politano elsewhere and minor links to um, Thomas Lemar from Atletico Madrid on a loan move until the end of the season with a possible option to buy, but now as out of nowhere been linked to Wolves. The only real news I have for you today is links to some, in my opinion, rather underwhelming centre-backs. You know, I have to be honest like that. I mean, firstly, it is reported that Chelsea are interested and have actually inquired about Brighton and Hope Albion centre-back Lewis Stunk, who the South Shore club apparently value at £50 million, which is... Like, what? £50 million for 28-year-old Lewis Stunk? I mean, of course, I mean, first of all, he's obviously English. And he is a decent and proven Premier League centre-back. And he is 28, so it's not like, you know, you're getting someone inexperienced. I think he's also the captain of Brighton. But is he really what Chelsea need? I mean, I would strongly argue against it. I mean, I really don't think that he is what we need. But even if the interest is real, you know, let's just hypothetically say that the interest is real. You know the media. You know, every there's so many rumours. I mean, the amount of players that Chelsea have been linked with this window, and it's only the 13th of January is actually ridiculous but um you know even if the interest in Dunk is real I can absolutely guarantee that Chelsea will not sign him for, for Brighton's apparent you know asking price of 50 million pounds like that's just, that's just not happening other than that and just further underlining our seeming interest in signing a centre-back while I'm just sat here asking myself why aren't we just making use of that 40 million pound buyback clause we have for Nathan Aki from Bournemouth a buyback clause that by the way at least reportedly runs out this January this window so I'm like I mean, if we ever want to sign him back, and if we ever want to sign him back for as cheap as 40 million, I mean, we got to bloody do it now and not look at bloody Lewis Stunk, do you know what I mean? Um, like, I still don't understand that, how we even link to these other players and have long signed Nathan Aki already, but, you know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Either way, Chelsea have also been minorly linked with the 22-year-old Brazilian Lille centre-back, Gabriel Magalhaes. Magalhaes, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that in Portuguese, in all honesty, but he's just called Gabriel. Um, he's a regular starter for Lille at centre back and has really come into his own this season and with some very good performances, you know, along the way, really, for the French outfit, of course. He is a, you know, six foot three dominant centre back and Brazilian, so naturally quite good with the ball at his feet. Reportedly, the talks are also held by fellow countrymen of an agent was previously involved in Chelsea signing the likes of David Luiz, Oscar, Ramirez, William, and other Brazilians as well, such as like Kennedy or Pato. Um, but in all honesty, I wouldn't read too much into that link either, into the link to Gabriel. And personally, I just still don't think we should buy any centre-back unless he's Premier League proven and actually going to improve our team kind of immediately. Because January's signings, like either they improve you right now or don't sign them. Like for example, the Pato signing a few years ago. He played his first game bloody April. Like, that was less than a month and a half from the end of the season, and we signed him early in January. Like, don't make signings like that. Make a signing that will actually improve us right now. If not, just sign someone in the summer, because otherwise there's just absolutely no point. And also, I don't want Issa Diop from West Ham, who a Sky Sports journalist hinted at Chelsea wanting to sign when he said a young rival Premier League centre-back for more than £50 million, and he actually you know, heard that the move might be quite likely. And everyone at the time thought, you know, he must be talking about Suyuncu from Leicester or at least Joe Gomez from Liverpool, you know, those are the kind of names that popped up, young, rival centre-back, a lot of money, so, you know, you don't start thinking of Issa Diop. But it seems to have turned out that he actually did mean Issa Diop, and I'm like, no thanks, don't want Issa Diop, he's worse than all of the centre-backs we have at a club, in my opinion. So, I mean, no thanks. But then, lastly, and probably most interestingly, which really says a lot about our transfer window so far, Chelsea have actually, officially, made their first signing of the January transfer window. But I have to admit, it is a lot less exciting than that might make it sound. As we've signed a highly rated, to be fair, highly rated, 16-year-old, 16, yes, 16, Norwegian forward Brian Fiabema from Tromso IL. IL just means sports club in Norwegian. Um, obviously, a Norwegian club on a three-and-a-half-year deal for our academy, basically. I mean, at least he will join the academy for now. I guess, you know, if he improves incredibly well, you know, he will obviously become part of the first team squad. I mean, he did have a trial in December in which he clearly impressed enough for the club to go out and sign him on a permanent deal. But to be honest, other than that, there's not much more to say on the signing as a whole. There's just not much more on it to say. It is quite ironic, though, 
that our first signing after the transfer ban, which we got for you know signing underage players, is an underage player. I mean, I would duly hope that the club you know have now followed all of the rules and restrictions and regulations that come with such a such a signing, but it is still. It is still quite ironic in my opinion. But to be honest, guys, that has really been it for me. Link to some centre-backs, I guess the minor link to Thomas Lemar. And, you know, we have signed a player, <laughs> a 16-year-old Norwegian. Great. Um, you know, we do, of course, all hope that it becomes a little bit more exciting. We could all do with a striker, especially with Olivier Giroud looking to be on his way to Inter Milan. Possibly a ringer, possibly just someone that can play on the wing and a striker, which is why the whole Zaha links, you know, came up, of course. Um... A centre-back, wouldn't mind a centre-back that can play a left-back, which is why well, I wouldn't mind Aki, especially for the 40 million. Um, other than that, not really that interested. There's some really, really minor, minor links about midfielders from, for example, the Liga, which was so minor, in my opinion, that they didn't even mention them today. If, of course, there's something more about it, we will touch on them in future videos. But I just don't see the point in us signing a midfielder, in honesty. But yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate all of you guys that have tuned in. Of course, like I said in the beginning, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. Make sure you drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And also make sure you hit the notification bell button um, and choose to be notified with all uploads so you don't miss any of the future videos. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Up to Chelsea, and I'll see you when I see you.